Okay guys, thanks for coming back and checking it out. Uh, we need to put to death some varmints. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. I got a cool toy. Something we never had to really deal with before was moles and voles and ground squirrels and ground... Excuse me, Barrett. Good grief. He just walks right through the... Anyway. <laughs> I had somebody show me these nifty little traps here. These are pretty cool. I'll show you guys what we're doing here. These are a dual purpose mole and gopher trap. And you basically set the spring in this thing. And then these two little tines right here will impale them or grab them as they're, as they're looking for something in their hole. They'll hit this little door right here, cause the, the spring to, to, to snap and trap these things. Very, very effective. However, you have to have a way to pull them back out of the hole. So I'm gonna tie a piece of wire on these things. So the guy that showed me how to, to, to do these, he actually tied a piece of red yarn. That way you can see where it's sticking up out of the ground. Problem is the yarn isn't strong, isn't very strong, and he would break them off once in a while. So I'm actually going to use wire, just have a little wire loop sticking up out of the ground. So I'm going to twist these and make a little loop. There's my little loop, and this is going to stick up out of the ground, out of the dirt, and I can see that little loop. So when you go to set these things, you make sure this thing is, this little tab right here is underneath this bar. Push down against the spring, opening up the tines. Then you hold that, let this thing come down, and you're gonna hold it, flip the little door up. Get your fingers in the way. Don't get your fingers in the way. So as soon as they're, because moles have, moles will keep rooting and pushing through a hole, they'll push that little door and their body is right here and these two little tines will impale them or grab them or pinch them. Usually they'll impale them. So, here I'll show you guys. So here's the mole, and the mole's gonna come through here. Well, the mole's gonna come through here, and he's gonna push against this little door. There you go, that's what happens, guys. And this spring is strong. And you can reuse this over and over, resetting it and reusing it. There we go. Now let's go, let's go put one in a hole. All right guys, so there's, there's, you've got two different kinds of mounds you're gonna be looking for. A gopher is gonna have a U-shaped hole and then a mole is gonna have a volcano-shaped hole. So we're gonna look for what we have over here. This is a fresh... That's a fresh one right there. Look at that wet. Oh, that one's fresh too. Oh, look at that fresh one right there. Yeah, this one is old. Uh, well, this one's still probably a day old. That's a day old. So, looking at this one, it looks like a U-shaped. So, the gophers tend to... Uh, throw the dirt out behind them in a U-shape where the moles tend to go in a volcano. But the key is to find the hole. So we're gonna try and find the tunnel. We're gonna poke a stick in here. Oh, it went right in. There's the tunnel right there. I got lucky on the first try. So that's where the hole's at. So I am going to carefully cut away. And this is kind of a U-shape, it just it was on a hill. So maybe this is a gopher. That hole looks like a gopher hole. Yep, there's the hole right here. So there's a hole here, and it goes way up in there. And you can see that Barrett's been digging holes looking for the gophers. So if you can find a tunnel in between two holes and set the trap in between the two tunnels, then you're golden. Yeah, I don't know where that hole is. This, this hole is pretty well defined. Okay, so. I've got my trap. I'm gonna set the trap, push the bar up, push the spring down, hold it in place, make sure the bar is underneath, and then I'm gonna put my little door up. Now when I go to set this thing, 
I'm gonna hold hold it like this with my thumb against this little the little door that way it keeps this spring down I'm gonna set it kind of have to open up this hole a little bit it's, it's a little bit of a small hole but I'm gonna get that sucker in here sometimes you have to make the hole a little bigger but I'm gonna push this thing down in pushing the door and then I should be good. And then we cover the hole up. There we go. And I got my little wire sticking up. Let's go find another one. So here's a great idea Olivia had. She tied orange ribbons on the top of that loop. That way we can see where they're at. That's a great idea, honey. Thank you, honey. Good job. Yep, there's the hole right there. So we got a gopher here, guys. It's not a, it's not a mole, it's a gopher. Okay, pushing my spring down, flipping my door up. Okay, putting this bad boy in there. Oh yeah, that one's guaranteed. Put my flag up, cover up my hole. That looks like a U shape right there. Barrett. Barrett really likes your fuzzy here. Barrett. Move out of the way, bud. We're trying to film. Come on. Go. Go away. Go. Barrett. Get out of here. Go away. He wants to bite the microphone, the, the cat tail on the microphone. Hey. Go away. There's the hole right there. Got it. Oh, that's a big one. Holy smokes. So you're gonna widen the hole out just a little bit to make sure you can have enough room to get the trap in there. So moles and gophers will maintain their holes and keep them open. Hey, get back, get out of there. Leave it alone. I don't need your help. You don't get them, I did them. Because all you do is dig holes. So leave them alone, you guys. Just stop, good grief. Okay guys, so tomorrow we're gonna come back out here and we're gonna check these traps. And if the flags are down by the ground, that means that they've probably got a, uh, a gopher and he's tried to get back down in the hole if he didn't die by being impaled. So second half of the video, we'll show you the results. Stay tuned. Looky there, guys. Uh huh. Impaled him. That is a gopher, not a mole. Yeah. And he is impaled. Dead on a doornail. Yee haw. What? To me. It was two feet away from you. I'm just showing you. Oh my goodness. It works. That is a gopher. That is not a mole, it's a gopher. Oh. Alright, guys. Success. One out of three got a gopher. Those things are destructive little vermin and they need to be eradicated. So this little thing works good. It's weird having a trap that I'm not used to putting some sort of a poison or bait on. This just goes because they like to root their, through the holes and they like to open up their holes, their passageways. And there's something blocking it, they try and push it out of the way. So this thing works awesome, you guys. Um, I'm gonna go set the, I, I set the other two. I didn't catch anything, I'm gonna go reset this one and uh, see if I can get me some more. So. You can see our garden down there with the blueberries. We definitely don't want any gophers or moles into the blueberries or the garden that we work hard to put in. So, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. And um, catch some gophers.